Bitu is a balanced multi way search tree with a minimum order t such that any node apart from root should have at least t minus 1 keys and at most 2 t minus 1 keys. For, for the root node, it should have minimum of 1 key and maximum of 2 t minus 1 keys. So if uh, the value for t is equal to 3, now t is an integer which should not be less than 2. If the value for t is 3, then any node apart from root should have 2 keys, that's t minus 1, 3 minus 1, and maximum of 5 keys, that's 2t minus 1. Now the root node can have minimum of 1 key and maximum of 5 keys. If a particular node has all the 5 keys, then we say that the node is full node. Now for this particular node that we are having here, uh, there are three keys as we can see. Now there are four pointers C1x, C2x, C3x and C4x. So for any node, any node x, if there are n keys, then always there are n x plus one pointers in that node. Now if that particular pointer uh, if it doesn't have a subtree, then that particular pointer is null or undefined. Otherwise, it holds the address of the subtrees. Uh, so, therefore, for any node with n keys, there are actually nx minus plus 1 subtrees. For this node, there are 3 keys. So, there are always 4 pointers that we are having and 4 subtrees for each assigned to this each pointers. Now, the node that is here, which is assigned at pointer c1x so the subtree all the keys here in this subtree should be less than is equal to this particular key value 8 and all the keys are uh, actually ordered in a particular uh, node in non decreasing order that we can see here it's 8 16 25 that is increasing order now the formal definition of and, uh, and furthermore all the keys here that appears here in this node should be greater than 8 and less than is equal to 16 all the no keys here should be greater than 16 and less than is equal to 25. All the keys here are greater than 25. The formal definition contains this. As we can see here, uh, every node x has the following fields. Nx, the number of keys currently stored in the node x. And Nx, the keys themselves stored in non-decreasing order. So that key 1, x, that's the first key of the node x is less than key to x and so on and the leaf node of x a boolean uh, there is a value a variable a field for each node that is uh, whether the node is leaf or not if it is leaf then the boolean value of this particular field is true otherwise it's false now each internal node the second point states that each internal node x also contains nx plus one pointers from c1 through c nx plus one x as we have said as we have observed earlier. So if there are three um, keys, then there are four pointers at each node to its and, and those pointers holding address of its children. Leaf nodes have no children, so CI field of the leaf node is uh, undefined. That keys ki x separate the range of keys stored in each subtree. If ki is any key stored in the subtree with root ci x then this fact this property always holds this means all the keys in subtree 1 should be less than is equal to key 1 x this is key 1 x and that should be less than is equal to key 2 that should be less than is equal to key 2 x and so on and we can see this here all the keys here this is k1 should be less than is equal to this particular key that is key 1 x and all the keys here should be less than is equal to this this is k2x and so on now all the all the leaves resides resides at the same depth that is the height of the tree now if the depth is h then and if the height of the tree is h then that means all the leaf nodes resides at depth h there are lower and upper bounds on the number of keys that we have decided discussed earlier uh, a node can contain at most and at least uh, certain keys and there the bound is defined in this way there is a fixed integer t which should be greater than is equal to 2 called the minimum degree of the b tree and this has these properties 
every node other than the root must have at least t minus 1 keys and every internal node other than the root has at least t children that means if there are t minus 1 keys in the internal node then there are always t children if the tree is non empty the root must have at least one key every node can contain at most 2t minus 1 keys including the root actually uh, therefore an internal node can have at most 2t children we say that the node is full if 2t minus 1 keys exist in that node now let us try to understand how we can insert into a b tree and then we will try to understand how we can delete a particular key from b tree let us take this example in order to understand how to insert a key into b tree now we are given t is equal to 3 that uh, inevitably uh, indicates that a node can a node apart from root can contain minimum of two key and keys and maximum of five keys and root node can contain minimum of one and maximum of five now after inserting this MGTRW, this particular node which is the root node of the P tree is full. It cannot accommodate any other key. Uh, so in order to insert J that is the next key that we need to insert, we need to split the node. Now how we are going to split this node? Take the median of the keys in this full node that is M here and split it by taking this median node as the pivot so it goes in this way after splitting t and g should be on the left side in the left side tree and r and w goes to the right sub tree now we can insert j now j is less than m on its alphabetical according to its alphabetical position on english alphabet so we should go to the left side that means this node now check whether this node is capable of uh, storing a key or not yes it is and j is greater than g that means j comes after g in the english alphabet so j should be inserted here so so j is inserted here at this node and uh, um, this is done now if we need to insert some more keys so the key goes and the tree looks like this now after inserting these keys b h s u x so we have this particular b tree uh, now B is inserted here at this node because uh, B comes prior to D and then we have inserted H here at this position in this node because this node is still capable of um, storing a key when H was inserted so H it was inserted here and S is inserted since S is, S is greater than M so it comes here S was inserted at this position and because it is it comes uh, later to R after R and then U is inserted after S here X is inserted after W so now this node is full P, T, G, H, J there are 5 nodes and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 this is also full now if we are asked to insert say A at this point say we are asked to insert A at this point then we need to split the node again now A should be inserted here because A is less than M and we come at this subtree and this subtree at this node, this node is particular, this particular node is full so uh, A should be inserted uh, prior to B but this is full and we need to split it. Now the B to split states that if we need to split we need to take the median and this is the median and now look whether there are vacant places for keys in the parent or not. Yes. The parent still can contain more keys so what we need to do is to after splitting this particular node we need to place g right here in the parent otherwise the levels of the leaves is going to be different and that will violate the condition of a b3 uh, as the condition states that that b3 should always be balanced so uh, we need to insert the median node uh, along uh, by which we are splitting and median key by which we are splitting the node uh, should be inserted into the parent node if the parent node still has some backend um, position for keys. So how we are splitting now? It goes in this way. G comes here. The left hand side is B and D. And here it goes h and j and here 
create rows. R S U W X. Now why we should insert A? Yes, of course. A is less than G, so we can't do this particular node and here we have a back end place for key so a is inserted here so we have done inserting a in this way now if we are uh, we are asked to insert say t say insert t after this now where should we insert t now t is greater than a b c d e m a t comes after 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 m so we should come to this we should go to this node and this node is again full T should come after S and prior to U. So this node is again full, so we need to split this node uh, along this median key U. So taking U as P1, we need to split this node and since still the parent is capable of holding uh, more keys, so this U should be inserted here in the parent. So how we do that? After doing this split, it goes. The left subtree of G contains A, B, and D. As usual, here we have this H and J. Here comes R and S, and here comes W and X. Now, where should this T go? T goes. T is greater than m and less than u so t should come here in this particular node so here we can insert t after s because t comes after s in the alphabetical english alphabet so after inserting t this is the b tree that we have here <coughs> now uh, t is inserted here uh, so this is the b tree that we get after inserting t now after inserting e f n o v y z we get this tree this could be uh, this is understandable as e and f goes here n goes here it's greater than m so it comes here uh, o goes here again and v y z all gets their places in this way in this mode so now if we are asked to insert c how could you insert that now C is less than G, so it comes. It, uh, we come here at this node, and this node is full. So C should be inserted here, and the node is full. So we need to split this node by taking this D as pivot, and D will be placed in the root as the root node has still some backend places for key. So after splitting, what we get? G, D, M, U this is the root node a b comes here e f goes here h and t h and j they comes here as usual N O R S T <coughs> then V W X Y Z. So this is the tree after ins uh, after splitting. Now we can insert C uh, in this node. So here comes C. Now if you are asked to insert P, say P is greater than G, greater than D, greater than G, less than and greater than m less than u so it should come here so p should be inserted at that node uh, and containing a no rst again a no rst this particular node is full so we need to split this node by taking r as pivot so r will be placed in the root node and after splitting what we get is this one uh, so now we need to insert p uh, as we as the task was to insert P, so P can be inserted now here in this node. So we can insert P right here after the splitting.
so now it is done now if you are asked to insert uh, one more key say z1 which you consider greater than z because we are exhausted with the alphabet so i am taking z1 that comes after z which is greater than z as far as the key value is concerned so z1 needs to be inserted here in this node now since this node is full we need to split this node as well but uh, as we can uh, look to the root node it is already full so uh, we cannot place x after splitting this particular node uh, into the root node so what we need to do first is to split the uh, root node in this way and then we can uh, split the this particular node so first we are splitting the root node since root node is full right now so it goes in this way d and g comes to the left subtree and then r and u comes here then a b c that comes here e f they comes here h and j they comes here a left, left subtree of r that contains n o p here s and t now we can split this particular node in order to achieve our task so this x now can be placed in the parent so we can split this node again and we get this m place set one here in this node so it's done now in this way we can insert uh, we, we can go on inserting more keys into this p tree by splitting the corresponding node if that is full so insertion is done and i hope that you understand how to insert a new key into the b tree uh, now we need to understand how we can delete a key from b tree that i will be providing with the next video lecture